Hey, what's up guys? I was just going to share with you something about three reasons why your business is failing right now. And one of the reasons I was going to go over would, would be focus. Focus is a main thing in business. Even Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, they were in an interview one time and they even agreed that focus is actually number one. But I see a lot of people start businesses either online or just small service businesses. They start a business and they jump from one thing to another to another. Like they, they just give up on something because if you ever start a business, you're going to you're gonna uh, hit a wall pretty much. Like you're going to hit a wall in whatever you're doing. Let's say you're going to make, you start an online business and you make like five cells and it just goes dry. And another person over here is doing a thousand cells, but you don't know what they're doing. And so a lot of times you do like five or 10 cells and you hit the wall and you just give up and you just go out to another business. So there's no like, there's no focus. There needs to be absolute focus on your goal and on your business. So if you hit a hurdle, you need to like really dig deep and find out online or through other people or whatever to, to figure that out and go to the next thing. And so, like I said, focus on just one task all day or if you have a job, do it after work, but in like a, in blocks, you know, two, three, four hour blocks. Because a lot of people nowadays focus is out the window. They're doing social media. They're focused on something for 20 minutes and they're checking social media. Focus for 20 minutes, checking social media. They're like all over the place. And so nowadays we have like less focus than ever because people are not focused at all. So even adults now, 40, 50 year, year olds I've seen in like programs, and you text them or you, you, you can see their chat uh, stuff in programs and they just automatically just give up. They're like, you know what? This is not for me and they just give up. So there's no focus. And the other thing I kind of hinted at just a little while ago is be, would be time management. You have to make blocks of, you have to have goals and you have, may have to make blocks of time allotted for those things. So time management is a big thing. Whenever somebody tells me, Whenever I say something like, you need to do this or you need to do that, they always say, I don't have enough time. To me, that person, that's just really just ignorant. You know what I mean? Even if you ask somebody, if you say you need to read a book or you need to do this or that, they don't have time. Or can you vacuum every day? No, I don't have time. What do you mean? Like vacuuming is 60, 60 seconds of the day or whatever. If you're fast, 60 seconds and then the day is 24 hours. So for example, if you work for eight hours and you sleep for eight hours, you're eight hours left. Like, what are you doing with the eight hours? So time management is a big thing. You just can't lie to yourself and automatically just say, I don't have time. Because even the guy who, who has like a hundred million dollar company, he has time to do stuff, work out, whatever. And so even those people who work 40 hours a week, on the weekends, there's 16 hours left. So there's sleep for eight hours and there's 16 hours of free time. But all through all those weeks, they have zero time, they say. So time management is a huge thing. You have to make a schedule and then actually do things. According, check things off. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, this, this. And you're over there all day checking things off. That's how you can really get time management down, like, down pat. And the other thing is mentorship. One of the things I've seen uh, a lot of people do is they, they, they just – Excuse the idea of mentorship. It just has a bad, it's like a bad word now, mentorship, because of people selling programs and stuff like that. But if you think about it, if there's 17 year olds having multi million dollar businesses and all these people from other countries or whatever doing it, and someone's 30, 25, or 30 years old or whatever, and they can't figure it out, automatically they excuse that person and say, well, they're successful because of this or they're successful because of that. They just sweep it under the rug and say, Oh, they just found the right thing. They're in the right place at the right time. But mentorship is a big thing. Even my first business when I was 21 was lawn care. And even my last year when I exited the business, I increased the business $100,000 in just one year. And so a lot of times it's, you can increase the business by a million dollars a year if you wanted to. You just have to do the right things. And if you want to do mentorship the right way, you have to contact the person like one of the guys that was working with me a long time ago, he was saying, what if you start a business in your city and you call a city like 200 miles away or whatever, they can see that you have a different phone number. Call like, let's say if you live in Dallas or whatever, you call Austin, Texas, which is like four or five hours away. You call them, 
call like 20 businesses, for example, in your same industry and say, hey, um, I'm calling you, sorry, sorry to bother you, but I'm a student right now, I'm researching this and this, this and that. Pretty much just say, if you're, if you're starting out a business, what would you do? And then some of the people will hang up on you, some of the people will really talk to you for 30 minutes or an hour. You know, I've seen it happen before. And they'll tell you, here's the thing, I would put my money in this. If I had a hundred bucks or if I had a thousand bucks, I would just do this. Put the money in flyers, look up flyer designs, door hanger designs and put them out and do this, hire these people and get this kind of equipment and do this and do this. If you have your weekends off, do this for eight hours, do this for eight hours and you're on your way. So that's like one idea of mentorship. And another idea of mentorship is actually researching stuff. Nobody ever researches stuff. They have a question or they hit like a wall and they just give up. Like for example, there's people even, they're like, how do you, how do you take this off your website or how do you do this or how do you fix this thing? And they just like try to do it and they just give up. But the crazy thing is though, you can like look online and there's thousands of results on how to do that. And you can like finish in quick. There's even people who are so out of there on Facebook, they'll say, hey, how do you do this? And they'll ask it on their Facebook wall. And hours later, they'll get the answer. But if you're on Google, you can go bam and see it in 10 seconds. So the thing is, if you really want to do something, mentorship is asking somebody or asking the internet, which is internet, just people putting replies on based on their experience. So those three things, focus, time management, and mentorship are three reasons in this short video on why I think your business is not doing well. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.